What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Zim's Beer Review. I'm your host, Garrett Zimmer, and today we have another awesome beer. This is a beer that I've um, never heard of. This I went to the liquor store to go buy a couple beers to do some reviews, and this one caught my eye strictly based on the can. If you're um, watching the YouTube, you'll check up in the just over my shoulder here. You can see the can there. Um, this is, of course, a beer called Enter Night. Enter Night. Um, from Stone Brewing. Um, this beer actually was done as a collaboration with none other than Metallica. Yes, Metallica the band has collaborated with Stone Brewing to make Enter Night Pilsner. So I'm really interested to see what this is going to be like. They say it's like no other. The can itself is really awesome. It's got the like cool matte black... Um, finish on it with the stone brewing logo um on either side of the little devil there's the the speakers and it says enter night which is a nod to enter sandman by metallica so i'm really interested to see about this beer and and we're gonna get into it um so we'll crack this bad boy open enter night by stone brewing and metallica um this is a pilsner um very clear, very golden color as we're pouring this. You can see here. Uh, it doesn't show up super great with the green screen, um, but it is a very golden color. Um, Pilsner, very light in color. Smells very hoppy, actually, for a Pilsner. I get little bits of, um, like, orange peel, maybe. Um, kind of subdued in the scent. very crisp very crisp pilsner very light it's lighter than i was expecting um very it's wow it's good it's crisp it's like almost has like a like an apple cider um characteristic to it like a little bit like apple or sparkling cider almost like um almost like Oh man, this is interesting. This is, it just keeps changing. I would say this is almost like a mixture of Martinelli's. If you're familiar with Martinelli's sparkling cider, you'll usually find it for a couple dollars a bottle around the holidays. It, it has characteristics of a sparkling apple cider and also characteristics of like a Stella Artois and a, a, a Pilsner all round together in one. It's actually pretty good, um, but like I was saying, this beer is a lighter beer than I was expecting to come from a collaboration between Stone Brewing and Metallica. Stone Brewing, if you haven't had any of their IPAs, they're generally some pretty powerful, pretty potent, hoppy IPAs. Very good brewery, very um, delicious beers, um, but with that background that I know of them, Mixed with the background I know of Metallica, I kind of was expecting something a little more like, I don't know, maybe like they would collaborate on like a stout or something. Pilsner's, it's a great beer. Uh, doesn't strike me as like a Metallica beer, but who, who am I to say? It's very crisp. It's very refreshing. It's a very good Pilsner. I actually really enjoy it. I just noticed on the can here, you can see there on the top corner, it says the collaboration with Metallica right on the, right on the can. Uh, yeah, the Enter Night Pilsner. So Stone Brewing, we're going to sip on this and tell you a little bit about Stone Brewing. Um, Stone Brewing is started in uh, San Diego, California in 1996, or San Diego County, I should say. Um in 1996, they are now, I didn't know this about Stone Brewing, they are now the ninth largest craft brewer in the entire United States. They now operate facilities on both coasts. So they have a brewery in Escondido, California and Richmond, Virginia. Um, so in, in addition to making really good beers, really good IPAs, collaborating with bands, being in the top 10 largest brewers in the entire country, they also just happen to run restaurants in three different continents. 
So they're kind of like, they're all over the place. Um, they have the largest craft centric beer distribution business in the United States. Um, and they have beers available in all 50 states. So if you are interested in this beer in particular, this Enter Night Pilsner, um, the collaboration with Metallica, as I've said, um, if you're interested in this, you can find this in your state. If you don't live in the United States, it's not all, you're not all out of luck. They also distribute to 40 countries. So stone brewing is all over the place. Um, if, if you're unfamiliar with stone brewing, their beers, um, I would say their IPAs are what they are known for. Uh, they're one of the best breweries and they make some of the best IPAs that I've had. Um, they actually started what is now called the West Coast IPA, if you're familiar with that. And they, they also um, started the first year-round bottled double IPA. So they, they were the first ones to ever do a bottled double IPA. And it wasn't just like a seasonal release or a special release. They had it year-round. Um, so yeah, like I said, they have breweries in Escondido, California. It opened in 2005 and then they expanded to Richmond, Virginia in 2016, which is pretty dang cool if you ask me, um, to go with everything else that I was saying about where they're available, their restaurants, um, kind of nuts. They're, they're all over to be honest with you. Um, we're going to go to the website preview here in just a second. I'm going to show you the stone brewing website itself. But before we do that, I want to just, um, ask everybody, Hey, please click, um, like, and subscribe, click the bell. It helps me out a lot. Let's me know what you guys are interested in. Leave a comment down below. If this is something that, um, piques your interest. If you want to see more stone brewing, uh, beers, let me know. And we gladly can get them on the show. So anyways, we're going to roll down our projector screen up above our head here pull that on down. And here is the Stone Brewing website. Really cool um, imagery. They have awesome pictures. The devil itself with the, like I said, on the can, they have really interesting art. Really cool. Um, I feel like it it blends really well with with a brewery in general. It's It's got a really cool feel. And I see why they probably collaborated with Metallica. The imagery is perfect. I mean, it'd be weird if they collaborated with Katy Perry. Nothing against either of them, but I'm just saying it fits matching with, with Metallica. Um, so here on their website, you can check out, explore their beer here. Like I said, they're double IPAs, they're Imperial IPAs, which like we had said on a previous episode, kind of the same thing. Um, they got a lot of beers. They even have a, um, what are they calling it? The salt and lime lager, kind of like a Cerveza Mexican style beer. We're going to click explore our beers and see where this takes us. So here we have the um, year round releases, unique, big character beers, features, bold flavors that defy traditional style, style guidelines and expectations. Um, this Stone Tangerine Express IPA, I've had multiple, multiple times. It's one of my go-to beers on tap. We have a local bar here that uh, me and some friends will go visit and they seem to always have Tangerine Express on tap. And um, it's always one that I keep falling back to. It's a, it's such a really good beer. This might be one that I end up having to review on the show. But like I said, they have a little bit of everything. Their imagery is awesome. Um, pretty much everything about this brewery is bigger than I knew. They have more beers than I expected. They are more widely available than I expected or knew. They have more breweries than I expected and they do more than just beer. They even are, um, like I said, into the restaurant business and then collaborating with with monster bands like, like Metallica. I'm interested to know if they do any other collaborations. I think that would be, would be kind of cool. But yeah, I, I encourage you to check out their website. Um, like I said, they're available in all 50 states. But if you if you don't know um, where to go exactly, they have a, a beer finder right on their website. And you can say, hey, what am I looking for? I'm looking for their beer. I'm looking for their events. We're going to say we're looking for their beer. We'll enter in our um, zip code here just so you can kind of see. And boom, I live in little old Casper, Wyoming. And they are available at... Oh gosh, 20 to 30 places here in my town. So 
there's no reason to think that you can't get it wherever you may be. Um, so if you're interested, go check out their website, find their beer, explore their website. They got a ton of stuff on here. Maybe you don't know what you want to go look for. You can just uh, go to their website, see what they have to offer and see where to go get it. So I encourage you guys to go check that out. As for this beer, uh, specifically the Enter Night Pilsner, the collaboration that they did with um, Metallica, I think this is a very good beer, um, very crisp, very refreshing, unique flavors. It's not as dry, uh, I would say, as Pilsners can be. It definitely has some good flavor as far as um, being unique. It's got a little, like I said, like like an apple or a, a sparkling cider Pilsner Stella Lager feel to it. Really light, crisp, refreshing and unique flavor. So anyways, thank you guys. We'll roll this up. I encourage you to uh, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay up to date on all of our stuff. If you want to see more stone brewing videos, let me know down in the comments. And as always, have a beer.